guys, this is Danny New in your audio here. Welcome to another Pro Tools tutorial video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use a compressor. So over here, you see that I have a kick track set up for you guys already. Just go ahead and play it. Okay, as you probably know, like the kick doesn't sound as punchy as it should. So I'm just going to go ahead and throw in a compressor. So. Here's an insert section over here. Just go over there, click, go plugin, go over the dynamics. And I'm just gonna go ahead and find a compressor that I know you guys will have. So I'll use the compressor limiter. Okay, I'm just gonna go over some of the uh, these sections over here real quick. Okay, oh, here's the levels. This is pretty much the, the audio levels coming in. Here's the out, audio levels coming out. And over here where it says GR, just basically tells you um, how much, uh, how much the auto is being compressed. So at the moment it's being compressed around 12 dBs, which is a little bit too much. So I'm just going to go ahead to the threshold se threshold settings over here. And basically what the threshold setting does, it's, it pretty much tells you when, like at what level dBs It'll start working so you notice when I move the threshold this little arrow over here moves up and down so I'm just gonna move it right there for now let's see how it goes okay so it's being so I'm just set a little more bring it down a little more okay basically the ratio Setting the ratio basically, uh, it does. So say I set it at six. Let's try to set it at six. So at six dB. So I set it at six. So anything that's six dB is going to become one dB. Or if I set it to four dB, everything's become one dB. So everything's going to become compressed to one dB. Okay, and let's see what else. The attack. The attack over here just allows how. just allows you to set like how fast or how slow you want the compressor to work. So if you set it right here, that'll be the fastest. And you set it three to three hundred milliseconds, that'll be the slowest that'll work. Also the release setting over here just pretty much tells allows you to set like how how long you want the uh, or how short of amount of time you want the compressor to work to hold on to the compression. So let me just set it to four seconds right here. Notice that it's holding compression a lot longer than it should. So, notice. Let me set it down to something faster. Notice the compression is working a lot faster. It's not holding the compression as long. So that's what it allows you to do. See the knee over here. Let me change this. See it over here. Notice that if you set the knee to a lower setting, you see that the angle over here is a bit sharper. If you bring it up, it's a bit smoother, so it just moves out the compression a little bit. Okay, so let me set it around five dBs. Set the attack to somewhat fast. Set it over here. Move this up. Move the threshold up. And like a good rule of thumb, I say for like compression would be like how much how much to compress would be around, I say like three to six, you know you you really don't want to compress that much, and that kind of depends on the genre of music that you're doing. You know if you're doing classical music, you probably wouldn't be using a compressor at all, or maybe just a little compression. Okay, this is Daniel Audio here signing out.